Hello everyone, Larsons is here, and welcome to the first ever Larsons Reactions. Now, I did mention my channel update, I'm going to be doing reaction videos for certain things, either game channels, uh, game um, trailers, anime movies, and Paragon characters. But I never got to it yet. Granted, I missed Shadow of Mordor, and I should do a channel reaction for that too as well because i haven't seen anything heard good things about it but i haven't seen nothing so look forward to that one and some others so i'm looking forward to seeing what i missed but i didn't know where to start off for one i need to fight the perfect angle so that way you guys can see my reaction perfectly and uh kind of learn how to do this on the fly because i never did a reaction trailer before so i had to kind of mess with the settings with that and two i had to find this the right trailer and then Lo and behold, I was on Twitter, I was on Twitter, bored, looking at my stuff, trying to figure out how to do stuff, and then I saw a video. I saw a video for Paragon, and I saw a new character they're bringing out. So I was like, hey, you know what? That's my first reaction right there. So, this is my first reaction for Paragon, the newest character, Ying. All I know is that it's a female character. I believe they say it's a win-based user. I don't know. That, this is what I heard. Rumors. I said, this is what I read. So I'm going to look at the announcement trailer first. Then I'm going to kind of guess what she's going to be, her strengths and weaknesses are. Then I'm going to watch the overview. If you guys are wondering what the hell the overview is, an overview is um, when Paragon tells you more or less of a mini, mini big make breakdown for the character. It tells you what cards to recommend, uh, their moves, and how to use them. And then I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my overall opinion and a grade for this character. Um, I normally don't grade stuff, so I'm gonna just do like a one out of ten system until I figure out what a good grade for Paragon characters are. Um, so now I'm gonna watch the trailer. You guys are gonna see my reaction. Like I said, you should have saw my reaction when I saw Shinbi. I was like, what in the holy hell is this? For the record, I don't know much in the character. All I know from watching that little video right here in this uh, overview, she has some green on it, which I respect. St. Pally's Day. I dig the green. Um, and that's it. I don't know what type of user she is. She could be a caster. She could be a melee fighter. Who knows? Uh, so I'm going to start the video. It's only a few seconds. This might be like a 10-minute video because I'm talking. So I hope you guys, if you guys, oh, for the record, if you guys have any recommendations on stuff to check out, like, hey, Lars needs. Uh, can you check out this video? I want to see if you have the same reaction I did with this. You know, don't f don't be shy to put some stuff in the comments below. But give me a second. Let me go watch uh, Ying and see what kind of stuff they have in right here. Boring. God. Crouching tiger. Ooh, crouching tiger. <laughs> That's it for now. So that was the announcement trailer for Ying. Saying that, you know, this is how they normally do for Paragon. They show, hey, this is what the character uh, more or less is. Um, pretty good video. Really short. I'm trying to see how the win user is really used for. Uh, they really showed the whip a lot. They didn't really show abilities like that much. Um, she does have like some type of scorpion like get over here. But instead of you going to them... She goes to you. So it's kind of like uh, one of the characters in Paragon, Vic, uh, Richter. But it's kind of like reverse. So she goes to the character. So I want to see how... Um, as I said, it's, they say she's supposed to be a win user. Um, I want to see how they use her. Because I said, with wind, it's kind of interesting. Because you think of when I think of wind, I think of mobility. So she has to be very flexible. Uh, so this is gonna be probably like the third character they make very flexible. Um, so I'm I'm really serious. I'm really curious what kind of abilities she has. For the record, I'm gonna guess that the last ability she did when she um stopped time or stopped something. I'm gonna guess that was her ultimate. I'm gonna guess that was her ultimate. 
The wit move, I think that's a primary. I think she's going to have an AoE move, at least one. And I don't think she's going to have an escape. I'm guessing. This is me guessing. He might not have seen this character at all. So I'm going to look at the overview and let's see what happens. Hopefully there's no commercials. If there is, oh, never mind. Get me the hell out. Jin is a melee carry who uses her whip and powerful wind magic to dispatch her enemies. AOE, Though she and Aurora came from a life of crime, Yin rose oh, to the rank of the first Lord. guardian of her city. Focus on buying cards that increase your power and critical strike chance. Okay. Windburn allows Yin to focus her wind magic, increasing her attack range and dealing 100% cleave damage to all enemies in a straight line. Windburn will let you crack down on your enemies, so make sure to position yourself to cleave as many targets as possible. Lash Kick allows Yin to target an ally, enemy, or minion and immediately jump to that target. Lash Kick makes you very unpredictable and elusive. You can use it to take down a target or to hop to an ally to escape. Backlash will deflect all incoming enemy projectiles back to where they came from. Consider saving Backlash to deflect a key enemy ability. And finally, your ultimate is Quelling Gale. Quelling Gale allows Yin to manipulate the wind around her, creating a vortex that slows all incoming enemy projectiles. And when paired with Backlash, you can set up some game-altering plays. Yin has a variety of tools that reward precision play. When approaching a fight, focus in on your enemies and use your abilities to control the fight. When playing Yin, timing is everything. Using an ability too soon or too late could end in your death. Remain focused and manipulate the wind to overtake your enemies. Okay, so that was her overview. That was I was wrong about this. I was wrong more or less about the ultimate, but I was still kind of on the on the money. So I kind of predicted that she didn't have no ultimate. I mean, she had no escape technically. So if you really paid attention, um, at the, at the whiplash, I forget what the name was, unfortunately, but the the one I told you that the reverse get over here, it sounds really good, but it sounds very risky because you're jumping into enemies, but yet you can't run away unless your allies with you. So that she looks, she sounds like based on teamwork. Her ultimate sounds very confusing because it sounds very situational. Because it never said anything about damage. So what are you doing? You're slowing down time. You're slow. Well, you're slowing down enemies, which is cool. But uh, I don't even really see anyone taking really damage from that. So, and they they say you could combo with her uh, ability with the projectiles. But how many people in this game have projectiles? Does this, does it mean like projectiles like kind of like the meteor? And like the rock when um uh rampage throws at you, or does it mean like like projectiles like anything like when people shoot at you with uh bow and arrows when people uh, when twin blast shoots you with bullets? It's uh see this why this is why I do breakdowns for. This doesn't this doesn't explain enough for me. I have no idea what this character can do. For now, from what I see, from when I from when I uh from what I got from this trailer. She looks very situational. She looks like she's actually extremely hard to use. And maybe going to be a very, you know, for newcomers, it's not going to be a f person to walk into. Uh, she looks like she could probably do some damage. Uh, she doesn't have as much AoE moves as I thought. It looks like, like I said, yet again, she has another straight line a uh, attack, which I don't know why they keep giving characters that. I don't, I don't like that. At least make it a cone to hit more various enemies. Uh, straight attack. A straight attack is gonna miss more because you gotta be more precise. Um, same build, like I said, the kick thing it seems cool, but as I said, it seems situational because you gotta do it, and the only way you can run away, it looks like it's only for friends around you. So, or another enemy, and then you run into them, but that's a suicidal. He's pretty much jumping into a, a different fight. So, I don't know. From, from what I got from this trailer, from right here, this overview. I'm gonna rate her like I'm gonna rate her five. I'm gonna rate her five. Only self purpose because she sounds the, the the guy didn't he's confusing. I don't understand what what her strength is. She doesn't sound very mobile. She sounds extremely uh restricted. 
Uh, she sounds like she come she can't get away as far, and it, she sounds very just. It sounds weird. I don't know. I, this is why I do breakdowns. So like I said, uh, this is Yin. She's gonna be coming out the 14th, which I think is like next week, uh, Tuesday. So I'm looking forward to to breaking her down and really giving you down the the real rundown of how to use her. That way, just in case you guys really are interested in using a win user, um, you guys can know. I'm really excited for the record. Just, just for me, I'm excited that they're bringing more elemental classes. Uh, I kind of wish they'd start changing up a little bit more because they don't have that many unique ones. Like I said, she doesn't really stand out uh, from the look of it. Like I said, I like her outfit, but as far as looks, she doesn't really stand out. She looks really generic. At least, uh, at least uh, Aqua, she had like that cool looking blue um, outfit. She looked kind of cool. Um, who was the last person I did? Uh, Shinbi, she didn't look unique, but she at least has style. I want to know what's her thing. Like I said, this is the fact that she controls winds. I like, that. I like the fact that they're bringing like elemental users. I like it because they have Izzy with fire. They have Valor of ice. They have the Fae with earth. They have this girl for wind. But they could they could have a little bit more fun with the game. Like they don't have that many unique characters. Like oh, this character looks badass. You know, she you know, granted she looks cool, but she doesn't look badass. She, you know, with Paragon graphics, you should you should really make some characters that look cool, like look crazy. You don't even have to make them look human. It's your game. But like I said, I'm just judging from what I see from the trailer. She looks you know pretty interesting. I hope she's actually good to use. Um, I'm gonna try to make her a damage dealer like I always do because I love my damage dealers. And like I said, um, look forward to the breakdown that's gonna be around the 14th through the 17th. That week that she comes out, she will be broken down. I'm gonna give my time, I'm gonna give my dedication. I really hope her ultimate is not situational. Her, her moves, two of her moves look very situational, and I'm really hoping I'm wrong with that. Hopefully you can still use it even though projectiles are not coming to your face. Hopefully you can still use it even though regular projectiles are coming to your face. I don't know. But like I said, guys, this is my first reaction video. I decided to do it with Paragon because Paragon was probably the first game I actually really broke down and, and started really messing with breakdowns. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's just do a reaction video with it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you see. Like I said before, if you have any comments, any games you want me to check out, let me know in the comments below. Hey, check out this movie. Let me see what you think. Oh, check out this game. Let me see what you think. I would definitely check it out. I don't, I don't watch trailers like that because I have... I, me with, this is my thing with trailers. They're cool. They can look badass. But my problem with trailers is that sometimes they show too much. Sometimes they should show way too much. That's why I don't want to look at Persona trailers. Did you see something and then you wait for that one moment and then next you know you figure out that's the end. It's like, what the hell? So this is why I don't like doing trailers that much. But at the same time, I do like doing trailers as well. So like I said, if you guys didn't get any comments, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is Yin. She will be broken down next week. Look forward to that. I look forward to trying out. Hopefully she doesn't suck. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more Larsen's reactions and other series I post up. Share this with friends so that way they know. One, Paragon's free to play. Two, Ying's coming out next week. And three, that Lars is here. And I'll see you next time.